Hi YouTube, Roy Marco with Roy Marco's Garage. Coming to you today with this 56 Pontiac. I want to road trip it to Saskatchewan for a big show that's uh, happening in Warburg. That's about 10 minutes out of Saskatoon. And uh, there's just a few things I want to do. I'm going to drive the car there. I'm going to put up films daily. There's a four day event, but I'm only going to be there for Friday, Saturday and Sunday and then come back. So it's about a 500, 600 kilometer trip. And uh, there's a few things I want to do to the car to get it ready. Uh, the wheel cylinder on this front corner is leaking, so I'm going to put in a new wheel cylinder. Thought about changing the rad hoses. I want to talk to you about this. this is kind of a neat. Uh, this is uh, out of a 94 Chevy truck, big block. And uh, if you cut this hose in two places, you get the upper and the lower for these inline sixes. So we'll do that. Get rid of those corrugated hoses. Got a set of spark plugs I want to throw in. And then I want to place all the valve stems. The wheels, these have been painted red, and I don't know how old they are, so I want to put in brand new valve stems just so that um, uh, just so that I don't have any issues with uh, hopefully the tires on the trip. And that's it. And we pack the front wheel bearings and uh, just go through everything. So let's get started and get it done. This car has wheel locks on it. They're not going back on. So as you can see here, there's some brake fluid and uh, this wheel cylinder's leaking. So we're just going to change this one out. Okay, so I got the drum off, I got the hub off here. I want to point out something. Whoever put this together, I got the springs off too, but whoever put these shoes on, there's a short shoe and a long shoe. And the short shoe is your lead shoe and it goes towards the front of the vehicle. So I gotta flip this stuff around as well as change the wheel cylinder. So I just wanna get all of this off here for you. And then we'll uh, clean everything up. And I'll show you the process of putting this back together. wheel cylinder is held on with a big nut here. Just got to take that nut off and then uh, put that on. cylinder off here. Put washer, you went on. Put the cylinder. I'm going to clean this backing plate off. I'm going to use uh, degreaser and hot water because uh, if I use Varsol on this, it's going to wreck the, the rubbers and components like that. So 
I'll move this tree and get some grease uh, out. What I'm gonna do, these shoes have to be cleaned as well. Uh, there's some brake uh, fluid on them. So I'm gonna wash them with degreaser as well. But I'm gonna hang them on here, might as well just get it done. So let me just, uh, I gotta switch this around and hang, and then I gotta switch out the adjuster. So let me just do that. Okay, so there's the adjuster set the right way. And we'll get the, uh, the nails and the springs. This goes on here. Okay. There's one thing, these linings are in pretty good shape, so that's a good sign. I don't know if I'm going to keep this car with drum brakes, so I didn't want to invest too much into this. But uh, we'll see what happens. Side. One thing about doing uh, brakes, if you don't have a tool like this, they'll be here all day. Take your pliers, give those springs just a little bit of a squeeze. Brakes are on. Okay, now I can wash this. The stuff cleans really well. Very nicely. Okay, so here we are cleaning up the uh, wheel bearings and hubs. I got stuff separated. This is the one side, this is the other parts. Okay, so here we are, got the new wheel cylinder, lining's on, drums clean, everything, all the oil and brake fluid has been cleaned off. I got the uh, wheel bearings all cleaned, no grease left. I didn't buy new seals, I'm just going to work around this, get this on, and uh, I got to grease it up. So I'm going to get, uh, I got the grease here, just got to get the inner race. Okay, very important. I'm going to get all this together to uh, make sure everything's really clean on the, on the bearings. You don't want any dirt to bearings. I'm uh, just going to pack these by hand. These are just ball bearings, they're not the um, your typical uh, tapered bearing.
washer and a castle nut. So in tightening these, I start by running them up fairly tight just to push all the grease and you get a true reading and then back it off. It's almost basically just finger tight. These ball bearings don't require a lot of load on them. If you load, you got no end play. You line up your nut with the closest. That'd be a little bit too much. Carter pin in. Get over. Okay, so now we got our carter pin on. Some people will fill this with grease and stick it on. It serves no purpose at all. It's just a dust cap, keep dirt out, keep the grease in. Mostly keep dirt out. You don't want to get that full of dirt. Okay, tap it on. That's it. I can slide a drum on. Line up with that. What I like to do, I'm going to get some paint on this. Keep it from rusting and so it looks nice with the Matador red wheels on here and uh, doesn't hurt to paint the drum. Okay, now we do the other side and go on to the next thing.
Okay, I'm not uh, sure what the size. I got to look at this, but uh, I know on my '52 Chevy, this made a perfect upper rad hose, the inline six, and this made a perfect lower rad hose. So um, we're gonna try that on this here. So I'm just gonna drain the coolant and uh, try cutting these hoses. If not, I'll just put these crinklies back on. Okay, so now I just have to do this five times. Go in, bust the sidewall here. And then change that valve uh, stem. Screw this tool on, the valve stem. Grab a knife. Cut it a bit. Pull it through. Get the other piece out. Get the old stem off. Get the new one in. Pull it through. Let's lube up the, uh, the bead. Off, check the air pressure. Take the tire gauge, check. Oh, only 15 pounds. Put the new cap on it, and then we're going to clean it. Take the degreaser, give it a clean, clean the wheel. Back side. In the inside of the rim. Get some more water. All right, rinse. Some more. Flip it over to the back side. One clean wheel and tire, new valve stem, I hit the road, I'm going to put on the car. Sorry guys, getting dark here, working late, trying to get this done. A little bit of copper coat on the studs, I threw a little bit of paint on the drum. 
tie rod. Five new wheel nuts here. Okay, uh, so it's next morning, so I'll show you. I was able to do an upper rad hose, but the lower one, they made bigger ports from 52 to 55. So I had to keep the crinkly down there, but it's in pretty good shape. So got the wheels on, all the hubs painted nice new nuts, doesn't look so bad. All four side corners I mean I did the uh, painted the center drums or you saw the video it was pretty dark last night got done pretty late got the spare flipped the way it's supposed to be in there with the jack holder so unfortunately the white walls on this side but that's okay got everything packed some tools clothes extra water a little bit extra fuel we're gonna make this trip other side about 7.30 in the morning and going to Saskatchewan.